Right, so I'd like to say I've been joined by Jamie Olsen following a 14-1 uh, pre-season win over the D-Side Dragons. Jamie, your immediate reactions? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's a positive start. It's, uh, you know, I don't think uh, we were expecting to obviously rack up a score quite like that. You know, it's tough for the guys on D-Side, you know, but, uh, you know, ultimately we can only play who's in front of us. And, uh, you know, I give the guys credit. Like, they came out and they played. And I, you know, there's lots, just said to the guys in the room, there's lots tonight that, uh, you know, we should be positive about. It's, it's the opening night. Uh, I liked the kind of vibe we just had and the energy generally, just literally from the guys arriving to have post game. I thought the room's got a really good feel. And, you know, we just took care of business. So, uh, you know, we move on to tomorrow. It's, uh, you know, one step at a time. Uh, we spoke uh, during the week actually about uh, last year, how it took obviously pre season last year we didn't win, and then it took six games, I think it was, to win the first game. Is it just good to get that first one out of the way? Yeah, I think so. I mean, that was. It was a tough, tough start last year. You know, there was obviously we're a new team first year. You know, there's a lot going on, and uh, you know it hurt. It hurt to go that long without a win. You know, the fans are desperate for a win. You know, we're desperate for get that monkey off the back. So, yeah, you know, I know it's preseason, and yeah, we're playing a team from a you know a lower level. But uh, you know, it's nice just to get the win and just kind of get a good vibe in the room. And like I said, it's a you know, the whole year is a process. It's a stepping stone, but that's step one, and you know, it's a good start, first win. Yeah, and we, we say, obviously, it's 14-1, but you, you do look at that D-side roster and there's a couple of names there that, I mean, Brody Jessen played, obviously, National League last year, a couple of other names that were playing in, in that league, in the National League a couple of years ago. They're still, they're not really a team that are pushovers and at the end of the day, 7-0 after the first and maybe not take your foot off the gas, but you 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 were allowed to play a, a, an easier game in those second and third periods, just just really dominant. Is that, that pleasing, that side of it? Yeah, I think, like I said, it's... Um... To be fair, you know, we came out, we had some jump on, I think, you know, the, the level of the speed of the game, you know, from that division one up to national. I think, you know, we found that at the start last year, just getting ourselves used to that speed of the game is tough. So I think the speed kind of caught them a little bit. So like I say, we have a good first period and we were pretty ruthless. And then, I, you know, they kind of found their feet a little bit more in the second and third and gave, gave it a bit more of a, you know, a competitive effort the last two periods. You know, it's tough for them. They, uh, you know, they're, they're going to have a couple of imports in the team when the season gets rolling here. But, you know, uh, they've had some bad luck. You know they're coming here without an import tonight, so feel for them a little bit. But you know, you know, hopefully they took something out of it as well. You know, spoke to Mike, the head coach, after the game. It's, uh, you know, I don't think, you know, it's not a pretty score line, but I mean, give them credit. You know, they wanted to play a national league team and, and challenge themselves in preseason, and you know, hopefully after the two game series, it will hold them in good stead in terms of their own development. But uh, yeah, you know, for us, like, we kept the foot on the gas, and we saw lots of good things. I know you pride uh, the special teams. A goal conceded on the penalty kill, but on the whole, the penalty kill, especially in the first period, two shorthanded goals. The power play looked really good. Just an excellent night, shorthanded or with a man advantage. Yeah, you know the special teams were you know a project last year. It's uh, you know the power play. The second half of the year was good. You know, especially when Nick arrived. I mean, the power he really made a difference on our power play. So you know we've got some core cool parts of the power play back. Um, but, you know, the new guys have, have come in. We've got some guys who can play power play. So uh, the good thing is there's going to be competition for places. You know, we're going to we struggle to get two lines who can really execute on a power play last year. We kind of had one go two, but it's nice, I think, from what I saw tonight. You know, we got two two units and we still obviously got some guys like Tanner who's going to play power play to come in. Um, so, yeah, we've got two units who can execute and that's good to see. And uh, you know, the guys moved the puck around and scored some nice goals. And the PK was something that... You know, it was the opposite. The first half of the year, the PK was excellent last year, and then really just went off the edge of a cliff after Christmas, and it was really poor in the second half. But likewise, some of the guys that we brought in are going to be really good PK guys. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to be a good special team team this year if we want to want to get more wins on the board and, and push ourselves up the rankings. And uh, touched on the new guys there. Obviously, Sasenis gets a goal. Uh, the play that springs into my mind, Reese Cock from a really good diving block front in a two-on-one. Impressed with it with those boys tonight? Yeah, you know, like we're excited about the new guys we brought in. You know, we've we've kept a really good core group, and uh, we wanted certain types of guys to come in, and, and we feel like we've got that. But uh, you know, it's nice. It's tough. You hard tonight. You know, it takes a bump in the first period, so you know he doesn't see the ice after the first period. But he started off bright. But Ralphs was good. But I mean, I, we were impressed with him last year. You know, we thought he was really good in Peterborough, so we knew what we'd get in. But it's it's nice to see him getting started on the right foot and Reese Cochran. Yeah, I, I, Reese Cochran's been really good in preseason and training so far. We're impressed. Uh, you know, he's coming out of a league where he actually played, uh, you know, some good minutes for five last year. So he's played at a good level. He competes hard. He skates really well. I think he's he's going to make a hell of a difference to us. But uh, 
you know, he takes a bump there towards the end of tonight. So that, yeah, that's a tough one, but uh, he's going to make us better on the back end. And uh, yeah, like what we see from the new guys so far. Um, and to finish, I don't, we don't often talk about uh, opposition players uh, on this, but I wanted to give a special mention to the uh, netminder that come in for the third period for D-side. Only a kid, played last season under-16 hockey, and I thought we made some phenomenal saves, facing 26 shots in that third period. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's tough. But, um, you know I, know, I know him a little bit. I've kind of seen him and worked with him a little bit through the GB program. And, he, you know, he's a good goalie for his age. And, you know, and, that, and that's what that, you know, that's what we did in Division 1. When we came to Division 1 in the South, you know, we, we gave a lot of young guys, high potential young guys, a chance to play. And they showed us in Division 1 that they could do that. And obviously that's what Mike's doing. You know, Mike's, you know, uh, a goalie coach as well. So he knows what he's doing with the goalie. So to take a couple of young guys like I know they've done and develop some young guys is a, you know, it's a good move. It's what they want to do. There's some good kids floating around their region. And, uh, you know, it's tough, a tough night like against us, but it'll hold them a good stead. Hopefully. Right. Cheers, Jamie. Thank you.